this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new um, sort of template sheets um, from Crafts 2. These are absolutely fabulous. Um, and they are they're designed to be die cutting templates. And the idea is we all struggle at times to get things in the right place, to get things even, to get things straight. But by using these templates, we can ensure that we can make the most perfect frames. We can make the most perfect placement of dies. Extremely useful. So you've got the sheets which are full A4 and these are 90 GSM. So they're a really good weight in terms of cutting. They'll also protect your card from getting any marks from the top of your plates or anything like that. But what they've got is red lines and dotted sort of grey or black lines. The red lines are every quarter inch. So these are all in imperial measurements. The dotted lines are every quarter inch. So if you want to know what is two and a half inches, you've got the measurements across the top one two there's three so that would be two and a half so in a two and a half inch square would be at that point there measurements go all the way from this center point one to eight this side and one to eleven on this side so very useful cut them up and make them into the right size and they match with all of the press cut john next door and crafts two die products that we've done as they're all done on an imperial measurement base which is inches so the most useful way to use these is for making a frame. So I'm going to make a multiple frame using the press cut stitch dot and plain squares. And I'm going to start with the smallest frame. And I'm going to do this on Crafts 2 Coconut White Essential Card. So I'm going to take one of the sheets and just put that on top. They're not sticky because you don't want to mark the card at all. But they almost sort of static themselves together, really. So I've got two of the dies. So I've got two dies of different sizes. And the problem we have when we're not using the grids is trying to get these even. It may look even, but when it's cut, you find it's off and it's not straight. And that's what the sheets do for us. So I'm going to start with the largest die in the set and I'm basically going to match it to a set of lines. So I'm matching it to the red lines here. So I'm just going to tape this down and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to tape it in each corner. And if I grab a black pen, I can show you these lines here are the ones that we're running on, on each corner. So that is completely and totally straight. We then want to put one into the middle. So we would do exactly the same. We would find a set of matching lines and we can check the sizing. So we can see here we've got one red, one red, one red, one red line all the way around. And I'm going to put this on the dotted lines here and again tape it down. And it means that first of all, this sheet or this frame is completely even on all four sides and completely straight. So to show you the lines here again, they are there on all four. So it actually means that we're talking to go from the line half an inch. So this will be a three quarter of an inch frame all the way around. It means we can get the perfect sizing. So we would run that through our die cutting machine and pop it out. And this is what we'd get. So as you can see here, you've got the perfect sizing. So first of all, great, we have got a perfectly even frame. But if we want to then set that onto another colour and go the next colours out, what we would traditionally have to do is to try and take this start, take this die cut, tape it down, take the next die, tape it down, take the next one that's larger and again try and, and again you would be struggling to get that even. We don't do that, we simply take another one of the sheets once you've done this once, you can keep the pieces you've cut as a template. I'll show you that in a second. So we put that down. We would take the two dies we want to use and we would do the same again. So this time, because we're on the quarter inch, I'm just going to put this evenly on and then I'll show you. Taped in the two corners. Really simple. And you'll see here we are between, evenly between this red line 
and this line here. And we're the same on all four. So you can see it's exactly even. We then take the smaller frame. We don't need to reference the frame we've already cut. We simply take this one and again, find the four lines that match. And because all of these dies are designed to be a quarter inch increments, they will all fit either exactly on a line or exactly between two lines. And that's irregardless of whether they're squares, circles, rectangles, ovals, hexagons or diamonds, all of them will fit. So again, we just tape this down and we're doing all of our taping onto the protective sheet. So again, if we're worried that the tape may rip the sheet, it won't. That's underneath and won't be harmed. But you can see here again, we've got, so we've got a quarter, we've got two and a bit. Two and a quarter, all the way round on that one. So we would run that one through and that would give us the next in the set. Now, as I said, you can peel this then off and these can be laminated to become templates or you can simply use them as templates to drop onto card and simply drop the dies back into place. But what this means is that we have then the perfect even frame, top and bottom, all the way around, regardless of which way round we place it. So you're not having to mark which is the top or which is the bottom or anything like that. Works perfectly. So we would repeat that with the next two dies in the set and get the next piece, which I've done in another colour. So this is the sea blue essential card. But as you can see, those fit on exactly, giving us the same even border all the way around. The white fits evenly in the centre, giving us the same border all the way around. And we would simply foam tape that together and that would make an easy, perfect frame. I won't do that in this demonstration, but you can see exactly what I mean. But what we can also do is to use these sheets to give us different size frames or different pieces of aperture. So here I've used a circle and a square to give me a different aperture, a different frame. But again, getting a circle even in a square is very difficult. Whereas on this one, it's completely correct. And again, I'll show you how we do that. So we would take our sheet of card. And again, I'm using coconut white essential card from Craft Artist. Pop a sheet on top and we start with our square. And again, we find four lines. So this fits exactly on four red lines. So we know that not only is that completely straight, it's going to be even. And we take our circle and again, we can count. So we can count one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh no, that's not two. So that must come right over here. And we can see then that it fits exactly. And it's actually fitting exactly on this line. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this down and I can show you how we can tell, because we can finish off the square. So you can see the square where this circle has been fitted into. And you can see there, that that square fit circle is exactly in the center. So when we run that through and cut it, we get a perfectly straight and even piece. So the distance here is one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter inches. And again, if we want to offset that down, we simply take a piece of contrasting card. I'm using black card here and a sheet. We pop that on. We take a die that's larger than the square and smaller than the circle. And we literally rinse and repeat. So we do the same thing again. So I can see here 
that this one fits exactly in between the red line and the dotted line. So that's taped down exactly. I then take my circle and again, I can do the count. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can see there that I'm putting this evenly between this dotted line and this straight line. So I simply tape that down and cut it. I don't need to reference this piece to check, but you can see there it's exact. And we would simply run that through and cut it, which would give us this piece. And so again, I'm going to take then the white piece. I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape onto this. And I'm just using two millimetre foam tape just to give me a nice little bit of depth running all the way across and when you're doing something like a circle that piece is not quite long enough so we'll just cut up just support the four corners putting it near the aperture three and four and we'll take a last piece in for there but you see when I turn this over, that fits, let's bring our pad in, exactly there, or there, or there, or there. So you're not having to work out which is the top, which is the bottom. It will fit regardless. It makes it so much easier and quicker. And again, you then have template pieces cut to repeat this. Great if you're doing batch cards, wedding invitations, or a lot of Christmas cards, because you can use the same template to make sure every time that you're getting them exactly the same. So I can then just simply pop that on, and I've got a beautiful even frame on all four sides and running through the center.